Let's bring back in national trial attorney Michael Jaffer with us. Michael, uh, we're seeing a lot of faces of Sarah Boone. What do you think the jury is going to see when she is at trial representing herself? Uh, the heinousness of that. Well, first of all, she, this is not a person who's making rational decisions. Uh, the sad part of it all is that she has some severe mental health issues. These are mental health issues that led to this death of this person, uh, and they're going to lead to her conviction. The heinousness of this is grotesque. Uh, that video was just disgusting. I've been seeing this case for a while now, and every time I see that video, because uh, I'm claustrophobic, right, and a lot of people, are probably members on the jury, are probably also claustrophobic. I can't even be in an elevator, right? So I can imagine some members of the jury also being in that situation where they're like, you're, he's in his suitcase, he's telling you he can't breathe. I mean, it's uncomfortable for me to see this uh, and she's going to be convicted. She's going to go to jail for the rest of her life. If she did not have mental health issues and did not have a video here, um, she this case would have played out and she would have had an attorney. Uh, but I'm glad there's a video to, to bring light to what really happened uh, because this man suffered. I mean, he suffered in the worst way. Um, I wish I could go back in time and grab him by the lapels and say, don't get in that briefcase, dude. Like, what are you doing? I just don't know. Some of these people do these things and and he allowed himself to be zipped up in this uh, suitcase. So um, I think when she defends herself, it's going to be uh, uh, her talking to the jury about how people have been impolite to her. She fired what, eight lawyers and she said they just were not being nice to her. I mean, that's what we're going to see. It's going to be a spectacle. The trial is going to be very difficult on that judge uh, because she's not going to be able to keep control of her courtroom. Um, I, I mean, this. Yeah, we don't know what kind of a ugly. defendant she will be, whether she'll be one who has outbursts, who's going to try and fight with the judge, or is she someone who's going to really try? She's been writing a lot of letters to the judge. It sounds like she's very involved in her own defense and has been critical of her own attorney, attorney after attorney.